by using Wet n Wild Beauty Trio palette called Knock On Wood which looks like this right here. This palette created this eye look in which you're seeing and if you want to see how to achieve this look just keep watching the video and I will see you all in another video again shortly. Later babes. Hey dolls, I'm going to begin by priming my entire area of the eye by bringing it all the way up to the brow bone followed by my e.l.f. duo cream eyeshadow I will be using as a base. I'm taking the black portion and just patting that on the entire mobile area of the eye. I'm not blending, I'm just patting this on because the black is what's going to help make the next color pop that much better. So here I'm using the Trio palette called Knock On Wood and the first color is labeled as Eyelid. And with a flat shader brush, I'm now patting that color on the entire mobile area of the eye slightly up into the crease area and this is what I love about the palette it takes the guesswork out of where to place the colors at absolutely absolutely love this palette so now I'm going back into the crease color and with the shade that's labeled crease I'm going to apply that into the crease in a windshield type motion and going back and forth back and forth in a windshield type motion but to really blend it out I'm taking a clean blending brush and here is where we blend blend and blend some more and blend again and blend until you possibly cannot blend anymore you don't want harsh lines so I'm going back into the palette and I'm taking the brow bone color and I'm just putting that in the center area of the eye this is going to help bring light back into the eye since I'm using dark colors I really want to attract light directly back into the eyes so now I'm mixing the crease and the eyelid color together and smoking out the lower lash line and now we're moving into the face. Yes, my e.l.f. Tone Correcting Concealer. Where the hell has this been all my life? So I'm using this to tone correct underneath my eyes before I apply my LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. Yes, now this e.l.f. Concealer helps this LA Girl Concealer pop out that much better as you can see when applied. I'm using my Dollar Tree Beauty Sponge that I'm absolutely, absolutely loving to blend it all out. Now once I do that, I'm moving into my all-time fave, yes, Avon Magic X Foundation, which I have a review about it. Check the info box down below for the full video and details. Absolutely love this foundation for the summer. It's very lightweight, easy to apply, easy to blend, and this leaves your skin unbelievably soft to say that it only costs six bucks. So yeah, check the info box down below about it. So now I'm moving into using my Ben Nye Banana Powder and I'm applying it underneath the areas of my eyes as to where I previously placed my concealer. And then I'm going to take my makeup brush with whatever residue is left on it from applying my foundation and gently just brush away any loose powder that was left behind. So now I'm using my Fade Blush by Milani Cosmetics which is called Rose de Rio to add some warmth back into the areas of my face followed by my obsession with this Fergie Highlighter, OMG. When I tell you a little bit of this goes a long way, a little bit of this does go a long way. So make sure you check the info box below for details about it. I did provide a link as to where I got it from because this highlighter is very hard to come by. So now that I'm highlighting the areas of my face, I'm going to move into my fave lipstick from Walgreens, which only cost me $1. And as I apply my lipstick and lip gloss, this now concludes my look. Not bad to say that it only cost me $2 to achieve. Yeah, I'm loving it. So don't forget, oh wait, 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 I forgot my eyelashes. Now my look is completed. Now remember, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter with more beauty alerts and fab beauty on the budget finds. And I will see you all in another video again shortly. Later, babes.